Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Thee, O our God, glory to Thee, O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life. Come dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, a good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. Our Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, thou of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God. So thy bounties upon the new nation, which is called by thy name, may gladden thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in thine aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. Ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. O champion dread, who canst not be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, O good in all praise, Theotokos. Establish the way of the Orthodox. Save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave his birth to God, and alone art blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. We pray for our Father and Metropolitan Saba and all our brotherhood in Christ. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Master, in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. 
I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. O Lord, rebuke me not, and thy wrath neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrows stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no sadness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head, as a heavy burden they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no sadness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken. I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things, and imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope that wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. But mine enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy love and kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God, every one that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that, that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength. Free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Will thou chew wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me. Thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about, round about me daily like water. They compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me and mine acquaintance in the darkness. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth 
thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him. And his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty lamb. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I shall walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy cut off mine enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Above in the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The holy house of those with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. To our Father, Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. To our country, its president, our civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord This city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
by sea, by land and by air, the sick, the suffering, captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever virgin there with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Unto the earth do all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is Compass me above, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. When thou didst submit thyself unto death, O thou deathless and immortal one, then thou didst Thank 
accept the intercessions of thy mother, the Theotokos, for us, and save thy despairing people, O our Savior. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily the Honorable Joseph did bring down thy pure body from the tree, wrapped it in fine linen, and laid it in a new tomb. But thou didst rise in three days, O Lord, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Verily the angel did appear at the tomb, saying to the ointment-bearing women, The ointment is worthy of the dead, but Christ have been shown to be foreign to corruption. Rather cry ye instead, The Lord is risen, granting the world great mercy, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Exceeding glorious beyond the power of thought are thy mysteries, O Theotokos, for being sealed in purity and preserved in virginity. Thou was acknowledged to be in very truth the mother who didst bring forth the true God. Wherefore, entreat him to save our souls. O Lord, since thou didst not prevent the sealing of the tombstone when thou didst arise, thou didst bestow on all the rock of fidelity. O Lord, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Verily, the assembly of the disciples rejoice in unison with the ointment-bearing women. As for us, we celebrate with them a common festival to the honor and exaltation of thy resurrection, exclaiming to thee, O Lord, lover of mankind, grant thy people through their supplications great mercy, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most blessed art thou, O virgin Theotokos, for through him that was incarnate of thee is Hades despoiled. Adam is recalled from the dead, the curse is made void, Eve is set free, death is slayed, and we are endowed with life. Wherefore, in hymns of praise we cry aloud, Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who is thus well pleased. Glory to thee. Blessed are the blameless in the way who walk in the love of the Lord. Blessed are they that search out his testimonies. With their whole heart shall they seek after him. For they that work iniquity have not walked in his way. Thou hast enjoined thy commandments that we should keep them most diligently. Would that my words were directed to keep thy statue. Then shall I not be ashamed when I look on all thy commandments. I will Confess thee with the brightness of heart when I have learned the judgments of thy righteousness. I will keep thy statutes, do not utterly forsake me. Wherewith all shall a young man correct his way by keeping thy word? With my whole heart have I sought after thee. Cast me not away from thy commandments. In my heart have I hid thy sayings, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thyself, O Savior, destroying the power of death, and with thee raising up Adam, and releasing all men from hell. Have looked into security, the 
Except the Lord were in our midst, who would have been kept safe from the man-destroying enemy? Verily, my enemies roar like lions, O Savior. Deliver not thy servant to their teeth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the element of life and honor, for as God, he doth establish all creatures, and preserve them in the Father and the Son. They who put their trust in the Lord are like the holy mountain, for they are never shaken by the attacks of Belial. They put not forth their hands to evil who live the divine life, for Christ God will not deliver his inheritance to the evil ones. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the fount of all wisdom, for from him cometh grace to the apostles, the martyrs by him are crowned in their struggles, and the prophets in foreknowledge look to him. Arise, O my Lord, Lord and God, in the precept which thou hast commanded, and a congregation of people shall surround thee. Arise, O my Lord and God, in the precept which thou hast commanded, and a congregation of people shall surround thee. My Lord and my God, in thee have I put my trust. Arise, O my Lord and God, in thy precept which thou hast commanded. And the congregation of people shall surround thee. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. O holy art thou, O our God, who restest among the holy, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye God and his saints. Praise him in the firm foundation of his power. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to the O Lord, glory. Let us attend. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana of Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the beach, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you any fish? They answered him, No. Jesus said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in for the quantity of fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his clothes, for he was naked, and sprang into the sea. 
But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish lying on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore, full of large fish, a hundred and fifty-three of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and dine. Now none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. In that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us bow down before the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. The cross we adore, o Christ, in thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. With our God we know none that beside thee, we call upon thy name. O come all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross, is joy come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he endured the cross, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercy, blot out mine iniquity, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unclear and hidden things of thy wisdom thou hast made clear to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, hyssop and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones which thou hast broken shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from, from my sins, and, and blot out all my iniquities. iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thine Holy Spirit from me. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from the guiltiness, O God, God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For as thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. Sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit. A contrite and humble heart, O God, Thou wilt not despise. Too good, O Lord, Lord my good will unto Zion. Zion. Thy 
that the walls of Jerusalem may be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offering and no burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar.
save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassions. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. <coughs> Through the intercessions of our all immaculate Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious all audible apostles of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril and John, the merciful patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myronikea, Spirit on of Termethos and Nectarios of Pentopolis, the wonder workers of our Father among the saints, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, all the holy glorious great martyrs, George the trophy bearer, protector of this holy cathedral, Demetrios the Merce, streaming Theodore the soldier, Theodore the general in Minas, the wonder worker, of the higher martyrs, Ignatius, the god bearer of Antioch, Arlampos and Eleutherios, of the holy glorious and great women martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskavi, and Arini, of the holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and god wearing fathers who have shown in the ascetic life, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of Gregory, Archbishop of Thessaloniki, whose memory we celebrate this day, and of all thy saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, Hearken unto the petitions of us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. Through the mercies and compassions and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with an all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Arisen art thou, almighty Savior, from the tomb. As Hades beheld, he trembled at the miracle. And the dead arose, and creation, seeing this, doth rejoice with thee. And as Adam is also glad, the world, O my Savior, praiseth thee forever. Thou art the light of those in darkness. Thou art the resurrection of all, and the life of mortals. And thou didst raise all together with thyself, O Savior, when thou didst despoil the dominion of death, and didst break the gates of Hades, O word. Mortals mar marveled, beholding the wonder, all creation rejoiceth together because of thy resurrection, O lover of mankind. Wherefore, we too all glorify and praise thy condescension in the world, O my Savior, praiseth thee forever. On this day in the Holy Orthodox Church, we commemorate Epatios, the wonder worker, Bishop of Gangra, and the prophet Joel. On this same day, the second Sunday of the fast, we make remembrance of our Father among the saints, Gregory Palamas, Archbishop of Thessalonica. Through the intercessions, O Lord Jesus Christ, our through his intercessions, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us. Amen. I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the Spirit shall I be filled. And words shall I now pour forth unto the Mother and Queen. And I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living and never failing spring. All them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name. And by thy grace divine, O may deem them all worthy of glory's crown. Seated in his holy glory on the throne of divinity. Jesus, God transcendent, cometh on a light cloud as King of all, and he hath saved by his pure and undefiled hand. Them that cry to him, glory, O Christ, to thy sovereign might. All creatures were sore amazed that thy divine and great glory made. O pure virgin who has not known wedlock, for thou didst hold in thy womb the God of all, and gavest birth to the timeless Son, who doth grant salvation unto all them that 
let's acclaim thy name on this divine and most honored feast of God's all holy mother let all of godly might now celebrate come let us faithful now clap our hands and send up glory unto the God whom she hath born no created thing but only the Creator with the godly mind in use Adore and worship as God But manfully trampling down threats of fire they cried out O supremely praised And all acclaimed one blessed art thou O the Lord God of our fathers We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bare. Then in figure and in type, now in very truth and deed. And he hath gathered all the world which crieth out in chant. Ye works of his, O oh, sing the Lord's praises. And exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. The Theotokos and Mother of the Light, let us honor and magnify in song. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and our truly Theotokos we magnify thee. For he that is mighty is magnified, for he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou without stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. <laughs> With his arm he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou without stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. Yet filled the empty with good things, and the rich he hath sent them thee away. Yemen he akramumin asherubim, wa arfal majdan bi ghayn kiyasin min asarafim. Allati bi ghayn fasan waladat kalimat Allah. وَيَحَكَّنْ وَانِلَ الدُّلِيلَ إِيَّاكٍ وَعَمِينَ He remembering his mercy hath hope in his servant Israel as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou without stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. Let every earthborn man upleap in the spirit, and now hold his torch on high. And let all the bodiless know and take hold. 
must now celebrate joyously the Theotokos is sublime and sacred festival as they cry out rejoice O thou a blessed one ever virgin and pure mother of our God again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord Lord have mercy help us save us have mercy upon us and keep us O God by thy grace Lord have mercy calling to remembrance our all holy immaculate most blessed and glorious lady the Theotokos and ever virgin Mary with all the saints let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God to thee O Lord for all the powers of heaven praise thee and unto thee do they ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Agios Kyrios O Theosimon. Holy is the Lord our God. Praise the 
saints, all creatures glorify Thee, O Lord, with every breath. For by the cross Thou didst abolish death, that Thou mightest manifest to the nations Thy resurrection from the dead. For thou alone art the lover of mankind. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Answer, O Jews, how was it that the guardian soldiers lost the king whom they were guarding? Why was it that the stone could not retain the rock of life. Either must ye therefore deliver to us him that was buried, or worship with us him who is risen, shouting, Glory to thy bountiful mercies, our Savior, glory to thee. Praise him for his mighty acts, Amen. praise him according to his excellent praise greatness. And with thy spirit. Rejoice, O nations, and be glad, for the angel has sat on the stone of the grave and given us the glad tidings, saying, Christ the Savior of the world is risen from the dead. He hath filled all with sweet scent. Rejoice, O ye nations, and be joyful. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. O Lord God, verily before thy conception, an angel did come with peace to her who is full of grace. And now an angel hath rolled the stone from the door of thy tomb. May glorious by thy resurrection the first angel spake with signs of joy instead of sorrow, and the latter brought us the glad tidings of a Lord who giveth life instead of death. Therefore do we shout to thee, O benefactor of all. Glory to thee, O Lord. Anonis, praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Having completed thy blessed life, let here in this Thou now rejoicest gladly with the blessed assemblies. Being meek, thou dwellest in the land of the meek, O divine hierarch Gregory. Made rich by God with the grace to work miracles, which thou grantest to those honoring. Praise him upon the loud cymbals, praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Having completed thy blessed life, led there, there in this world, thou now rejoicest gladly with the blessed assemblies. Being meek, thou dwellest in the land of the meek, O divine hierarch Gregory, made rich by God with the grace to work miracles, which thou grantest to those honoring thee. The mouth of the righteous shall meditate on wisdom, 
and his tongue shall speak of judgment. Lanting the doctrines of orthodoxy, O blessed man, thou didst cut down the brambles of heretical <laughs> doctrines, increasing well the seed of the orthodox faith with thy showers of saving words. As a good husband, men offering unto God, she's of wheat brought forth a hundredfold. The high priest, O Lord, shall be clothed in righteousness, and the righteous shall rejoice. All the assemblies of angels and men were sore amazed at the far shining splendor of thy life, O blessed Father, who wast an ascetic and also didst prove a staunch athlete in will and choice, a worthy hierarch and minister of the Lord, and a true and guileless friend of God. Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. 
O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, thou that takest away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, thou who sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, and unto the ages of ages. God save, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name for the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we do put our hope in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Evlogito si kirie di doxon meta di keo mata su. Lord, thou hast been a refuge in all generations. I said, Be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. O Lord, to thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. Continue thy mercy unto them who know thee, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal. Agios o Theos, Agios Ischiros, Agios o Thanatos eleison imas. Agos o Son del Kawi, Duron de la Dilaia Murterhamna. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God. Holy mighty. salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For 
for the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and those who with faith reverence in the fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our Father and Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For our country, its president, the civil authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us command ourselves in each other and all our life Unto Christ our God. Unto Thee, O Lord. Unto Thee, our due glory, honor, and worship. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. It is a good thing to give praise unto the Lord and sing unto thy name, O Most High. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior and Savior, you proclaim thy mercy in the morning and thy truth at night. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, God is just, and in Him there is no oppression. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us command ourselves in each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory 
of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord hath reigned, he is clothed with beauty, the Lord is clothed with strength, and hath girded himself. Establish the world which shall not be moved. Holiness becometh thy house, O Lord, unto length of days. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep so us, O oh God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves in each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy art thou, O our God, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. attend. The Lord is my strength and my song. The Lord has chastened me severely. Wisdom. The reading from the epistle of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Let us attend. Thou, O Lord, in the beginning didst lay the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. They will perish, but thou remainest, and they will all grow old like a garment, and like a mantle thou wilt roll them up. And they shall be changed, but thou art the same, and thy years will not fail. But to which of the angels did he say at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies a footstool for thy feet? Are they not all spirits for liturgical ministry, sent forth to minister for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation? Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things uh, that were heard, lest at any time we drift away from them. For if the word spoken through angels was confirmed, 
and every transgression and disobedience received a just retribution. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation, which having at first been spoken through the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard? Peace be unto thee that readeth. Amen. day of trouble. O Lord, save the King and hear us when we call upon Thee. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to the Let us attend. At that time when Jesus entered Capernaum, after some days it was reported that he was at home, and many were gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even about the door. And he was preaching the word to them. And they came, bringing to Jesus a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get near Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the pallet on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there reasoning in their hearts, Why does this man speak thus? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And immediately Jesus, perceiving in his spirit that they thus reasoned within themselves, said to them, Why do you reason thus in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, your, so, your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, take up your pallet, and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, Arise, take up your pallet, and go home. And he arose, and immediately took the pallet on which and went out before them all, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw... anything like this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, today is the second Sunday of Great Lent, and every year in the Orthodox Church we 
commemorate this uh, extraordinary and interesting saint, St. Gregory Palamas. He was the Archbishop of Thessalonica. He lived in the 14th century. He had an extraordinary life. Uh, really, it reads like an action tale. He was uh, an aristocrat. He grew up in Constantinople. His father was a member of the Roman Senate. That's how they knew themselves. They were, the, the Senate of Rome was still action, active. And so Gregory grew up in the capital, and he received an excellent education. And he had a bright future, we would say. But he gave it up, and he went to Mount Athos, and he became a monk. He lived first in the monastery of Esvigmenu, which is by the ocean. Then he lived in a skeet way up in the mountains near the peak. Really majestic area. The area is called Laku. And at that time, he became embroiled in an international theological controversy. And this took him off of the mountain, back to the capital, he became embroiled in a political conflict. He was imprisoned. He was captured and kidnapped by pirates and ransomed. He entered into debates with Muslim scholars. He had an unbelievable life. But the reason why we commemorate him is because he was the primary spokesman in three councils in Constantinople that had to do with the grace of the Holy Spirit. What do we believe about the grace of the Holy Spirit? And so the first Sunday of Great Lent, we talk about Christ. It's a weekend of Christology, of how God talks to us through creation, through the beauty and order of the world, which culminates, of course, in his son, in his icon, in his humanity. And today we talk about how God communicates us without the world, directly in our very own being in which he dwells through his Holy Spirit. And in the Orthodox Church, we believe that this presence, this action of the Holy Spirit in the human heart is unmediated. It's not a created effect. It is uncreated. And that creates a great paradox philosophically, and that's what the conflict was all about. The conflict arose because there were some monks on Mount Athos who claimed that in very deep states of prayer, they not only felt the warmth, the fire of the Holy Spirit, but they perceived him as light. And they claimed to have seen this uncreated light which existed before the creation of the world. Their antagonists said they were ignorant, <clears throat> deluded, uneducated. They were wishful thinkers and philosophically unsound. And that is when they needed an educated defender who happened to be one of them. <clears throat> and that was Gregory Palamas. It's very interesting that they saw the Lord, or so they claimed, as an immaterial light. An immaterial light. Light is the element that gives energy to all creation. Without light, there is no movement, there is no growth, there is no knowledge. Light is what enables us to perceive the world. Even in contemporary science, light is a mystery. We measure it by a unit called the photon. Sometimes light is, behaves like a particle with mass. Sometimes light is a wave or an energy. In other words, even in its physical existence, light seems to reflect this paradox of both imminence and transcendence, which is exactly the character of the Holy Spirit. Or as St. Gregory would say, an unparticipable participation. 
These monks defended themselves very simply from the scripture. They pointed out that God himself clothes himself with light as with a garment. It says in the Psalms, when Moses saw God on Mount Sinai, he came down from the mountain and his face was so aglow they could not look at him. He looked like the sun. They had to wrap a towel around his face. The tabernacle and the Ark of the Covenant would radiate light. The, priests, high, the high priest's vestments would radiate light. And then they pointed in the New Testament to the face of Stephen when he was martyred. Or the conversion of Paul who saw Jesus clothed in light and he was blinded by this light. And of course, most especially, the brilliance of of Christ on Mount Tabor at the Transfiguration. But what was this light? Was it a created effect? Was it meant something simply to teach us something? Or was it actually a manifestation of God? God revealing himself to us as he really is. Super essential and transcendent, and yet imminent and right next to us and even within us. So again, they turned to the scriptures, and they found these profound sayings, for example, in the Gospel of John, where the Lord says, praying to his Father, Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was created. Or again, and the glory which you gave me, I have given them. That is, I have given the same glory to my disciples that they may be one as we are one. And then finally he prays, Father, I desire that those who you have given me may be with me, that they may behold my glory which you have given me before the foundation of the world. Indeed, brothers and sisters, the goal and the inspiration the driving force of orthodoxy is this glory of God. And it is reflected in everything we do, in the beauty of our church, in our spiritual life, in our ascetic struggles. It permeates all of orthodox culture. And it is alive and practical, even in the contemporary church and the contemporary elders and saints who we turn to for guidance. Here I wanted to give just one example. This contemporary elder Thaddeus, perhaps some of you have read his book, Our Thoughts Determine Our Lives. And the theme of the book is how powerful our thinking is. Our thinking can be constructive for our life or destructive based on a simple attitude And it is very hard to change our attitudes because often our negative attitudes, our destructive thinking, is based on facts and evidence. It's based on the fact that a person, for example, is mistreating us deliberately and knowingly. And in the book, many people come to the elder and he shares their stories. It could be a professor giving a student unjust grades, ruining their potential to move forward, or a neighbor who is ruining somebody's yard and doesn't care what they think, or worst of all, a loved one who has rejected a person or hurt them. How do we change those destructive thoughts and attitudes? How do we let them go when they're based on facts And Elder Thaddeus leads us to a very simple uh, solution. We turn them over to God, and we let the Holy Spirit guide us. And we begin to pray in the Holy Spirit for that person. And in each and every case, the person praying is transformed, freed, healed, and often the situation changes. It's not simply positive thinking. 
It is the power of the Holy Spirit. Indeed, Elder Thaddeus shares that in his youth, he suffered from stress, depression, and anxiety, and he calls these the diseases of the soul. And are they not? And is the, are not these diseases rampant in today's world and growing? The confusion, the lack of self-knowledge, the unanchoredness that we see is truly astounding. And what is missing, brothers and sisters? Very simply, what does the world need? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit who comes through Jesus. He is the healing, warmth, fire, energy, divinity for which we were created. Indeed, the teachings of Palamas and these monks seem so exalted, so unattainable, so distant. And yet it's all so very simple. We need to strive for holiness. And holiness is attained through purity of heart. Purity of what we look at. Purity in what we listen to. Purity in the words that come out of our mouths. These are the things that transform the heart and allow the Holy Spirit to come within us with his fire, with his energy, with his warmth, with his light. In the midst of all of our stresses and responsibilities and tasks, which, by the way, are not going away, in the midst of all those things, we need to have a warm heart centered on Christ and open and perceptive to the presence of the Holy Spirit. Holiness is the goal of the Christian life. Holiness is what cures the soul, drives the church, and unites us to God. And it is attainable for each and every Christian. That is the message of St. Gregory Palamas. Our theological beliefs affect the way we live. And the way we live confirms our theological beliefs. And that's why we celebrate him now, in the second Sunday of Lent, at this special time of year, where these extra efforts really pay back. And how do we seek God and this purity? Brothers and sisters, pay attention most especially to how we spend our leisure hours especially in this holy time of Lent. Spend them with God. Say our prayers. Do our spiritual readings. Attend the beautiful Lenten services. And invite the warmth, the energy, and the power of the Holy Spirit into our homes, into our hearts, into our lives. Through the prayers of St. Gregory Palamas, O Lord, have mercy on us. Amen. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom. May guard it always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. She the Lord. Reverend Metropolitan Saba and all our brotherhood in Christ. The Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. The President of the United States, all civil authorities, and our armed forces everywhere, 
May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God, that they might have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, and the pardon and forgiveness of their sins. Clinton, Nicole, Michael, Aaliyah, Jim, Joe, Josie, and their families, Jay, Jennifer, Ivanthea, Macrina, Luke, and Anicia, Vladimir, Mildred, Paisios, and the servants of God, Jody, Nancy, and Javi, and the Liddell family. The Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the Orthodox servants of God departed this life in hope of the resurrection and life eternal, especially the servants of God, Lily, Jenny, J.C., Sarah, Judy, Glenn, Lorna, Ken, Ralph, Edith, Bill, Kay, Doyle, Daniel, Charles, Teresa, Howard, Betty, Alex, and Carrie. May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Amen. 
calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Peace be unto all, and unto thy spirit. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. Let us attend. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who is faith by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may off the holy, holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Give thanks unto the Lord. Comprehensible and circumstantial. 
all things of thy servants. Yea, angels and archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many-eyed cherubim praise thee. Round about thee stand the six-winged seraphim. With two they cover their faces, and with two their feet, and with two they fly, continually crying out to one another with unceasing praises. Singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy. to go forth to his voluntary and ever memorable and life-giving death in the night in which he gave himself up for the life of the world he took bread in his holy and immaculate hands when he had shown it unto thee the god and father and given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying take eat this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. In like manner, having taken the cup of the fruit of the vine and mingled it and given thanks to it, blessed it, hallowed it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you do proclaim my death and confess my resurrection. Wherefore, O Master, we also have a remembrance of the compassion, life-giving cross, his three days burial and resurrection from the dead, the ascension into heaven, sitting at the right hand of thee, the God and Father, in his glorious and fearful second coming. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. Wherefore, O all holy master, we also thy sinful and unworthy servants, whom thou hast bred, graciously permitted to minister at thy holy altar, not through our own righteousness. We have done no good deed upon earth, but because of thy mercies and compassion, which thou hast richly poured out upon us, have no boldness to draw near unto the, to thy holy altar, and presenting unto thee the antitypes of the holy body and blood of thy Christ. We pray and implore thee, O holy of holies, by the favor of thy goodness, 
that thy Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth, and bless them and hallow them and show this bread to be itself the precious body of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, and this cup to be itself the precious blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, which was shed for the life of the world and its salvation. And as for us, partakers of the one bread and one cup, do thou unite all to one another into communion of thy one Holy Spirit, and grant that no one of us may partake of the holy body and blood of thy Christ in the judgment of the condemnation, rather that we might find mercy and grace for all the holy ones, covered and well pleasing unto thee, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, teachers, and every righteous spirit which is completed this life. Especially our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Metropolitan Saba, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And of those who offer these precious gifts to the Lord our God, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and every priestly order and of their salvation of the peace and stability of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, the salvation and help of the people here present, those whom they're remembering, and of all mankind. Speedily destroyed by the power of thy Holy Spirit, uprisings of heresies, 
Receive us all into thy kingdom, showing us to be children of the light and of the day, and grant unto us thy peace and thy love, O Lord our God, for all things hast thou given unto us. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with thy spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray oh, to the Lord. Lord. For the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God, who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, most heavenly, and ideal altar as a savor of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us command ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to thy Bow your heads unto the Lord. compassion and love towards mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Let us attend. The holy things are for the holy. Divided to me.
with the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord.
Upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life giving dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee, and sanctifiest those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them in recompense by thy divine power, and forsake us not who put our hope in thee. 
Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to the civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee the Father of lights. And unto thee do we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. The blessings of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love toward mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father. May he who rose again from the dead, Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of all the mac that all men will stand by, by the might of the precious and mighty cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, by the supplication of the elder and glorious prophet for our baptism of John, Martyr George, the trophy bearer, patron of our community, <laughs> the holy and righteous divine ancestors, Joachim and Anna, of our father among the saints, Gregory Palamas, Archbishop of Thessalonica, whose memory we celebrate, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Many of our holy master lord jesus christ our god have mercy upon us and save us Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy